their parents in okay that they were parents in their health al qadi abu yala attributed this view to ahmed but sheikh al islam ibn taymiyyah pointed out that this was a grave error so it's one of the scholars in islam said this but ibn taymiyyah who we know okay. is senior okay. scholar he said this is wrong okay so, so in they, they summary be, what yeah. what are you yeah. in summary what, yes. in summary from what we know in, okay. i'm sure many hadiths okay. is that a child who yes. has reached the age of puberty a mentally ill person is that we believe that they will be tested on the day of judgment god's going to test them okay. because they were not yeah, they, they didn't have the choice because they were a child or they were not insane they were okay. they were insane so that's the reason why sometimes we say okay the pen is lifted from this person why because okay. he's acting a bit crazy yeah okay. he will be tested on the day of judgment okay. god will order <coughs> them to jump in the fire okay. and the fire will be paradise and god will tell one to enter paradise but the paradise will be hellfire okay. so this is the test that god's going to give them yeah okay so in a nutshell I'm very, very sure. I'll go and double check that. What you quote, I'll check if that's authentic as well. I'm very sure because, again, like I said before, how is Allah the most merciful, very merciful okay. if He's going to throw children in fire? Yeah? So I'm sure that's not the case. Well, okay. even from what you said. Finish this point, brother. Okay, if it's yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Okay. It's been, it's been, it's yeah, we've gone off t topic <laughs> from the Trinity. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll discuss this one next week, but let's go back to the, the, the so, Trinity. So, so, so the Trinity, so, so coming back yeah, so come to the Trinity, is that one of the problems I had with the Trinity is that a child, I don't need to go to a child and start telling him about because he's on what I'm on. He believes there's God. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Okay. The other issue with the Trinity is that a lot of people have a problem with, is what I have a problem with as well, is that, like I said to you before, yeah, you're getting this notion because, look, no, Noah, Noah, yeah? Mm. Did Noah treat, uh, teach Trinity? He would have. He didn't teach it, he didn't teach anything. Okay, did he, did he believe in the Trinity? Yes. He believed in the Trinity? Yes. Where's your evidence? I'll give you evidence from Abraham. Okay. Because we have evidence in the Bible okay. about Abraham. You need to first show, so, show me the... So basically, just to kind of uh, speed it up. So basically, all I have to show, because I said to you, we'll show the Trinity from the, from the scripture, right? So... But is the scripture the word of God? Before I take anything, yeah, but we're anywhere. going we're going off now because we'll, this, we'll, this, we'll, we'll, this, this conversation will go this, this, on. For, no, no, but this, this this connects this connects, yeah. yeah? Because look, the thing is, if, okay. look, look, anything that I, you, I give you the Quran, yes. it's the same principles with the Quran, yeah. Is this, it? We this need is from to, the Torah, yes. No, no, no. This we need to establish okay. that the Quran is the word of God and okay. the Bible is the word of God in order for us to go to text. Because okay. otherwise, well, me well, quoting to you, well, me quoting to you, this it's 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 nothing. Yeah, but but the thing is, we can discuss the authenticity another time. No, no, but I'm I'm showing you from the scripture that I'm reading okay, whether but, you don't have to agree okay, with it okay, it's, it's, it's legitimate or not okay. because we could have done that before okay, but well. because we talked about babies and whatever okay, we're going to go on for too long so let's just say can a Christian prove from the scripture that there is a personhood in the scripture that we and the Christians believe so we believe the name the divine name of God is Yahweh and if I go to uh, Genesis 18 you have the Bible up, or uh, you me, I can show I've, you from my I've, phone. I've got an app, it doesn't okay. work. Okay, so if I go to Genesis 18, yeah. 1, it says, and the Lord, so when it's in capitals, yeah. this is using the divine name. Okay. So it says, and the Lord appeared unto Mo, um, Abraham yeah. in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. So, and it says, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him yeah. when he saw them. So basically, this is the story of Abraham okay. just before uh, the um, destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Three three men or three angels appeared to Abraham okay. and one of them was God, yeah. right? So then, I mean, so then what happens is uh, the, uh, the story continues, they kind, of, they kind of eat with Abraham okay. and two of the angels go to, to, to get Lot to rescue him because they're going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So that's, I think you have a similar story, the two yeah. angels went yeah. and then people were trying to beat down his door or yeah. whatever. So basically what, what, what we see happening is, if we go to Genesis 19, 24, this is just before the destruction of um, Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> so two angels have gone to Sodom and Gomorrah yes. and the third person is still around, Yes. right? Then it says, and th then the Lord rained down Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Yes. Now, if uh, God was a Unitarian, yes. a singular, yeah. This wouldn't make sense because it's showing God is in two places. Okay. And I'll show you another verse just to confirm okay. it. This is why Christians understand okay. that there's a... Okay, finish. And we want to know who understood this verse like that yeah, as well. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? So if I go to, where is it, Amos? Because you could say, I don't know, someone could say, well, maybe they just a scribal error well, no, or no, something No, 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 like we that. need to know who understood yeah. it like that. So it says, 
Amos 4, it's talking about the same situation. It says, I, because God is speaking, it says, I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of burning, yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. So that's the divine name when it's in capitals. But it's referring to God overthrowing Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Now it would seem very strange yeah. that God is speaking and saying there was another okay. that overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. But when we go into uh, um, Genesis, the, the verse I showed you yes. before, yes. It sh they were showing you there, there was t a distinction okay. in two Yahwehs. Okay. So this is where we see the concept of uh, a distinction in the nature of God. Okay, the, that's, that's, yes. that's, 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 that's debatable. Yes. Because right now, okay, but what I was asking you is very simple. Yeah? The earliest classical sources. Yeah, it is. But first, we need to, which scholars understood it the way you're understanding it. Yes. Number two, did, where, where is your evidence that all these prophets that came, yes. that support our narrative of worshipping God and God alone, okay. where did they preach the Trinity? They didn't need to. Okay. I'll what, tell you why. Okay, are, okay are you first acknowledging that they didn't, and you're going to tell me why they didn't? Yes. Okay, so, okay. So, before the incarnation, yeah. As we go by, um, yeah. that even the Shema Israel, hear O Israel, your Lord God is one. Yes. Obviously, in the Hebrew, it's not got that your is like the mm -hmm. I don't know what you call it, like the is is one. Yeah, so yeah. it's just more of the the yeah. I don't know what you call don't it. Don't but it's it basically reads as uh, O Israel, yeah. Yahweh Elihanu, Yahweh one. That's what it says. Okay. So it basically says Yahweh, our gods, Yahweh one. So it can be taken as uh, your uh, that or you can read into it. Well, because we don't have the yeah. the because because it is, it is because when it's written in English, you don't have like the your Lord. Of course, of course. So, but, 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 so, yes. Yeah. So so it can also be interpreted as uh, Hero is your, your Lord God is one. Is yes, and Ahad can mean unity of one because you have Wahid, which is a singular one. Yes. Ahad can mean like one or a united one. So now we have to understand: was God talking about a singular one yeah. or a united one? Okay. Right. Then, then, then the thing is with this issue of united one, yeah. Yes. There could be multiple. I can I cannot stop at Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I can carry on, yeah. Yes. So the issue is: what I'm saying is, is there any clear-cut yes. worship and acknowledgement of the previous prophets yes. of the Trinity yes. of Jesus being divine and the Holy Spirit? Okay. So. In before the incarnation, so before the incarnation, the name that was revealed to Moses was Yahweh. So any divine presence that came down was called divine, was called Yahweh. It wasn't called Jesus because Jesus only came, the name came or Yeshua was when he was born. Okay. So if let's say you have the Trinity, yeah, and let's just say the pre-incarnate Jesus came yeah. down, he would have been called Yahweh. Yeah. Let's say if the Father came down, he would be called, he would be called Yahweh too. Okay or the Holy Spirit can be called Yahweh because there wasn't a proper distinction. Mm. So even if we go to Genesis 1. Okay, but is there, was there anyone explicitly no. worshipping the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Well, they were, because because this has to be, look, this is something. Look, yes. Tawheed, oneness of God, yes. has been there from day one. Okay. We haven't budged. No. There has not been a single movement. Okay. That all the prophets that have come with acknowledge, all of them come with worship God alone. Okay. Yeah? So the thing is, it's the same if the Trinity yes. is from God and it's divine it should be there from day one if it's not the question that needs to be begged and asked is why what changed what changed that the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit was born so from the beginning that literally it was born for, well. for example if I go to Genesis it says in the beginning was in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth yes. and the earth was without form yeah. and void and the darkness was upon the face of the the, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Yes. But this is the creation story, and yes. we see the spirit of God but that was be there. God himself. He's talking about, it doesn't need to be another. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'll, 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 I'll go into it, but that's fine. But we, because I can explain why the spirit of God was distinct for other verses. But we see that it was God and the spirit of God. Even if you say it was God Himself, okay. we see that the spirit of God. Was was there from the beginning? So we. No, I, no, no, but you're reading into it. No, but I'm I'm going to okay, go give. I'm going to go into other texts. Okay, go ahead. We can for now just say if it's one, but then I'll have to prove that this spirit of God was distinct. Okay. Otherwise, we can take your interpretation. Okay. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Then again, it can be the spirit of God can be yes. an angel that's created by God. No, because this was the, the spirit of God. God, God, God can create souls. If it says the soul of God, you can understand it as the soul of God, 
Yeah. Or a soul that belongs to God. Yeah, but when you look yeah? at Can I not read that into it? No, because it's saying Why in not? the beginning, yeah. the beginning of God time, created creation, heaven and earth. And the spirit was already there. That's what it's saying. No, I know, but God, God, what I'm trying to say so is. So angel is created, so it can't be there in the beginning. No, no, but still, you can read it as the spirit of God. Yes. Spirit of God. Yes. Or spirit that belongs to God. It's of God. Do you get it? I can read it like that. Yeah, but if it's if it's, it's a, that belongs it's, to it's, God. It's ambiguous. Yeah, but if it belongs to God, it means it's created. Yes. So it can't exist before creation. No, it can. Why not? Because creation, everything was, comes was, into was existence. Angels, was angels created before or the uh, universe? The universe was created. Before. That's why it says in the beginning, really? Really? God created the heavens where the angels in the At heavens. The end. But the angels, and the were, the, were the angels created before or after the heavens? Because think about it. Yeah. They were created about. at the same time. So no, because no. Angels, the angels can't exist before creation. Why not? Because creation is cre God's creation. No, that no, means no, anything no, 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 no. I'm talking about no, no, no. I'm yes. not talking about only God the creation. I'm talking about the universe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's good. He's right. I agree with him. God is yes. uncreated. Yeah. Only him. Only him. Yeah. Only him. Only yeah. Him. I'm with you. Hundred percent. Then why do you say angels are uncreated as well? No, I never That's said that. No, right? no, no, no. I never said that. I said <laughs> that did did angels were created first or the universe? Like you know, you said that God created the, the Genesis one one. Yes. So was angels created first? Or the, uh, the universe? Well, when he says he created the heavens, that means the heavens and everything in it. Well, just because you read, you read one passage. Well, obviously, it's logically we use our mind to say really. if God the creates angels, the heavens. Angels may have been there before. The heavens, yeah. Well, you get it? Well, we, it can be. Well, we use our logic to say, to no, understand no, the verse. On, there's, there's, because look, there's no I, one. I say we should No, but logic. there's no one that will say that the, he, the angels were created before the heavens. Where are you going to put the angels? No, it can't be. No, you're missing the point. You're, then you're saying the only place the angels can be living is in, in, the, cre in um, the universe. It doesn't have to be outside the universe. We know angels are outside the universe. Yeah, but they can't be out place, outside of place. No, no, no. no only like, God is out like, place. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying there was like an emptiness. They had a dwelling place. So yeah? where would they be before it could creation? Be paradise, paradise, where, paradise. No, but before paradise, where would they be? Before paradise. I don't know. But would God, they, would they exist? Would they exist? Maybe, yeah. How? Explain it how. If God exists, if God exists and He's created angels, yeah, what, for me to think that they have to have a little house, angels need a house, would it be unfair? Sorry, so yeah, I'm trying to wrap up. So, okay. so you're telling me angels can be where God is or no, 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 even no, if no, He's no, out no, place? No, not where God is, but they can be a place. They don't need to have like a house built to them. Like, oh, here you go, there's your house. So, yeah. so when, where, where were they created? Where, where were they created? I, that's what we're trying to come to. That, I'm trying to I'm yeah, make because, an argument. But look, 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 I'm just very simply, I'm just yes. asking, I'm big. And I'm un unambiguous, yeah. Okay. All the prophets that came that we both believe on, believe in, yeah. Okay. Did any of them? Yes. They didn't need to preach. The okay. Trinity. So if you accept that, then it comes back to my point: is this? All these prophets, we believe in thousands. You believe in probably hundreds, or maybe twenty, thirty. I don't know. All of them preached and believed in what we believe. What is that? The worship of God alone. Yeah. So the question that I ask you, that's why I said if we go back to scripture, okay. because it's the scripture that's different everything. Okay. Either the Quran is not from God, okay. or the Bible point, is not from God. Right. So, Do you get it? So, so it, this is this let, the crux of the matter. Because to make it easier, yeah. I'm going to give you a quote yeah. from a, Jew, a Jewish scholar, right? I don't know who he is. You can everyone can search him. His okay. name's Benjamin Summer. Okay. He teaches at one of the the, the leading Jewish seminaries. Okay. That's why I wanted to debate your friend because this is what he says. Yes. He says some Jews regard Christians' claim to be a monotheistic religion with grave suspicion, both because of the doctrine of the tr Trinity, how can three be equal to one, and because of Christians' core belief that God took bodily form. And he says, no Jew sensitive to Judaism's own classical sources, however, can find, can find fault with the theological model Christianity employs when it avows a belief in a God who has an earthly body as well as a Holy Spirit and a heavenly manifestation. For that model, we have seen is a perfectly Jewish one. And I will challenge anyone, that's why I wanted to get your Jewish friend, okay, to, find, to find me any scholar, yeah. not Rabbi Singer, who makes up his own opinions, okay. but a qualified um, Jewish scholar that says Christianity's core beliefs are at odds or not consistent with the yeah, classical sources of, 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 of Jewish sources. Because okay. what they're say, he's saying okay. is he's gone into the classical sources, okay. not Maimonides, not rabbinical Judaism of today, but the very earliest sources of Judaism and concluded what the, the Trinity... So what, so what does he believe? He, he's a Jew, so, but so he, he rejects Jesus on a different... Okay, so does he believe Jesus is divine? He doesn't? No, 
he, as a Jew, he doesn't accept okay, Jesus so, as the so, Messiah. So if, because if, it comes, that they're so two is different it, is things. Is he saying that there's a possibility that you can read it like that? He's saying it's consistent awesome. with... So what he's so saying is... So if it's consistent, is, then why is he being inconsistent? Because he doesn't have to accept Jesus. Because remember, they believe the Messiah is going to fill, fulfill certain criteria. Yeah. So he can reject Jesus as the Messiah. So why does Based he accept Jesus? That. Why doesn't he? Because he doesn't have to believe Jesus is the Messiah. So why doesn't he accept then? Okay, there's a possibility that God can come to Earth and dwell with us. But he's yeah, he's, he's saying because he's, he's, he's trying to say there's consistency, but yes. then he's been inconsistent with this. No, but remember, a belief is different from what he's saying. The theology of Christianity. I'll I'll I'll, I'll check and, it up. Yeah, but, and but, I'll, but, I'll give you his name. But, but, his name is Donald Summer. Donald yes, Summer, Donald Summer. and he's a scholar, and he's at a scholar at one of the best Jewish seminaries. No problem. And that's why I wanted to have a debate with no, you. No, no, no. I'll, I'll look, I'll look yes. into that, yeah? Because but, this is, yes. Yeah, coming back to look, what I need to do is, I need to know, I need to is, is, the, is the Bible the yes. word of God? We, now uh, we're jumping because we, no, we're not jumping because we said about the Trinity. Is, no, 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 but this is, this is, this is, this is, this is my uh, argument. Okay, yeah? we'll do because, that. Because there's no point in me talking yes. to you. I, so that's why I said to you, yeah? yeah? There's no point in talking about the Tawheed and Trinity. Yes. If, because all we have to go back to our scriptures. If the scriptures are flawed, yes. yeah? Paper boy, you need to, this is, this is what I need to understand. Yeah, if, if, the scriptures are corrupted. Uh, okay. Anything that you bring to me, yes. anything that I bring to you, yes. it can look beautiful. Yeah, it but can be, it doesn't. But the, the point is, yes? can I justify my faith from the scripture I have? This you understand? Whether it's legitimate or not, that's uh, another. That's a. No, that's another. That's, that's because a question. The, when when, yes, the, yes, when we discuss it, has the. I'm telling you the Quran. If the yes. Quran is corrupted, yes. I can't justify nothing to you. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Zero. Because, because the thing is, how am I going to come and tell you? Yes. Here's, here's corruption, yes. but I be, I believe in it because. But, but that's that, that's that's that's, that's a red herring. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you that's a red herring point. Yeah, because yeah, let's say for argument's sake, yeah. just for argument's sake, the, cor the, the scripture is corrupted. Yes. But that doesn't have anything to do of whether I can justify my belief based on what is in the book. Okay. Do you how, understand? How did you come to, to your belief? In what sense? How did you come to find out Jesus died for your sins and he's God? Well, let me just ask you. Where, where, do you, where, do you, where but, do you, did you have a revelation? Yeah, but let me just ask you this question, for example, because you believe in Tawheed. Yes. And Allah is one. Yes. Yes. So, but you believe, for example, Allah has a face. Yeah. Allah has a shin. Yes. Allah has two right hands. Two right hands. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now, if we think about it logically, according to science, yeah. yes, yeah. you have something called the uh, space-time continuum. Mm. That means matter, um, space, yeah. and um, matter, space, and time came into existence all at the same time. For example, if you have uh, matter and time, you need somewhere to put it. Okay. Yes, and if you have um, so yeah, if you have matter and space, you need you need a when. When okay. did it come into existence? Okay. So if Allah has two right hands, a face, a shin, this is it means that Allah, Alice, you love. It means Alice. You're gonna love. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. It, it, it means it means Alice's two right hands can be distinguished from his face. No. Because how can because how can you say someone has a face and two right hands if they're not cause, distinguishable? Because the, the, the flaw that you're making is this, yeah? Okay. We are told Laysa Kamithli Shay, Wahua Sami Basir. Yeah? Yes. There is nothing like him. This is what That's David Wood tried to use. Though. No, you're missing the point. Yes. God. Yes. If God has a hand. Yes. For you to equate it with the hand that you know is a big fallacy in I didn't Islam. say that. Okay, so if it look, so it's either. Yes. So it's not a hand. Or it is a hand, yes. or it's metaphorical, or it's a power. Yeah? Do you believe it's metaphorical? Okay. No. Exactly. That's the thing. That's okay. the difference. Yes. Because what we see is, his hand is nothing like I know. The clock has I, a hand. I can agree with that. Okay, so... The, but the, if you say you he has a hand... That, you bring in that, no, but if, it's, it's got nothing to do with... But, if you, no, but yeah. look, if you say he has a hand... Yes. Yeah. Because you, for example, Muslims will say yeah. the Trinity doesn't uh, make it doesn't make logical sense. Yes. But if Allah has two right hands, yes. that is spatial dimensions. No, 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 yes, no, no. Because no. if God is transcendent, no, no, you cannot say He has no. two of no, anything. What, what you're doing is this. What because you can't this? distinguish. A, no. For example, a Christians believe. Let me just give you a Christian perspective. Yeah. That yes, we believe in the Trinity, but we believe God's divine essence is a spirit. We cannot say God has a face, God has a leg, God has you because. Do. Listen to what I'm yeah. saying. We say Jesus, yes, but the spirit came into the flesh, the divine essence. So God in his natural element, the Father, yes, okay. doesn't have a face, two right hands, because that is, if God is transcending... So he's, of, he's not going to sit on his if, throne? 
if God is tra God, we believe God can enter His creation. Okay. You believe? No, no, no. The front, believe, front. Is he going? Is he not going to sit in the front? We, and Jesus we, on his right hand. Listen, we believe God can enter creation. No, we don't so that, believe that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So yes. therefore, if Allah can't enter creation, yes. you cannot say yes to right hand no, because missing, that is a spatial no, dimension. No, no, you're missing the point. Because what you're doing is you're saying you're saying. How did you distinguish no, a face no, from no, a hand? No, 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 you're missing the point because what you're saying is this. Yeah, you're you're giving it a yes. the reason the phone, the the, 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 the re when you're saying. Is material is yes. where the flaw is because you're saying if there's if it's material it yes. has to be bound in time yeah exactly it's a fallacy exactly it's 